I'm from Major League Eating. We are the world body that governs and sanctions all stomach-centric sports. And here on this majestic stage, ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful pistachios get cracking eating championship, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Wonderful pistachios are the number one snack nut brand in America. Major League Eating is proud and privileged to partner with them on this journey of discovery here today. Today's event, ladies and gentlemen, an eight-minute contest. The wonderful pistachios will be served in shell. Our eaters will have to work for their food. They will have to literally get cracking, cracking the wonderful pistachios one at a time, discarding shell, enjoying the kernel before moving on to the next pistachio. Today's event, ladies and gentlemen, is as much about manual dexterity and hand speed as it is about jaw strength and capacity. A very different event for these major league eaters. The wonderful pistachio kernel, so tiny, and yet our eaters' appetites so large. <laughs> what is at stake, ladies and gentlemen? 10,000 US dollars on the line here today. $5,000 to first place. But ladies and gentlemen, something far more important. The winner here today will walk the streets of Santa Monica and the world as the wonderful pistachio, pistachio eating champion of the world! Also on the line, the world record! And I firmly believe it will be broken here today. I say that with a sense of surety because this is the first time we've done it. We don't have, we don't have a pistachio eating record on the books. If you were a cynic, you would say by default, we're gonna set a record here today, but we are not cynics here today, ladies and gentlemen. We have an amazing field of top-ranked talent who will soon take to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. To those watching at home or wherever they are on their mobile devices, on the wonderful Pistachios Facebook and Instagram live streams, hello, great to see you. On the Instagram stream, jump into the comments and comment with your guesstimate as to what you think today's winning total will be. Closest to the pin wins a lot of wonderful pistachios and swag for days. Before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, some thank yous. Thank you to the entire wonderful team for partnering with us on this journey. Thank you to our friends, our friends at Pacific Park for welcoming us back to the spiritual home of competitive eating in Southern California. Thank you to our friends at Pink Sparrow for this beautiful stage, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you to each and every one of you for choosing to spend at least a portion of National Pistachio Day here with us. Yeah. Wonderful Pistachios has some incredibly exciting things on the horizon. To tell you more, please welcome Associate Vice President of Marketing, the great Diana Salsa. Diana! Yeah. Good morning, Santa Monica. Today is my favorite holiday and wonderful pistachio's favorite holiday. It's World Pistachio Day. Everyone, we're celebrating here with you all today with this wonderful Get, get Kraken eating competition. Well, why today? Our signature Get Kraken campaign is back. We've revitalized it with new commercials and TikTok creators, some characters you'll recognize. Joey Chestnut will be featured in one of our commercials. Yeah. Number right. one eater in the world. We'll have Humpty Dumpty, who you might know, the universe, arcade classic Pac-Man, and a robot-like dog named Spot. So look out for those as well as check us out on TikTok. Any content you capture, please tag us at Wonderful Pistachios today. And we're really excited to partner with Major League Eating and Sam today to host our competition in gorgeous Santa Monica under the Pacific Park iconic sign. It's a gorgeous day and we hope you enjoy watching everyone get cracking. So I'll pass it back over to Sam. Thanks. 
Thank you very much, Diana. Diana will join us at the conclusion of the contest to award the championship belt and oversized novelty check. <laughs> Which you can't actually deposit because it doesn't have a routing number on it. I checked. Little, little bank fact for you. Ladies and gentlemen of Santa Monica, are you ready to do this? Yeah! Look, you guys have been cooped up all day yesterday. You're going to be cooped up all day tomorrow because the rain's coming back. Why don't we all just enjoy this together while we can? It may be the last day of sunshine ever! So I shall ask the question again! Are you ready? Yuri, they are sufficiently ready. Hit track one. <laughs> Don't worry, Mama. The octopus is man-made. I'm in no danger. We've made it back to Santa Monica with wonderful pistachios. Ladies and gentlemen of Santa Monica, California and the world, walk with me in lockstep into a better and brighter tomorrow. For here, under this temporary blue sky, we await the swinging sword of justice, wielded by the Almighty to behead the weak and to raise up the pure of heart. This is the wonderful pistachios get cracking eating championship now is the hour when glory calls and only the bravest are left standing to answer seven brave sons and daughters born of seven proud mothers will take this stage and they will fight they will fight until the one remains standing the wonderful pistachios eating champion of the world Sweetest four words in the English language. Let the contest begin! He is a professional bodybuilder who knows that the key to perfect muscular definition lies in the wonderful pistachio. Six grams of protein per serving, amino acids, omega-3s, packed with fiber. The wonderful pistachio is the nut upon which American brawn is built. And with every nut here today, ladies and gentlemen, he will grow more powerful. His lats will develop delts. His traps will go triceps until he achieves perfect human form. 50% man, 50% wonderful pistachio. Ranked number 16 in the world, Bradley Weaver the fourth. He is the top ranked eater from the great recreational eating state of Louisiana, if you follow my drift. To be the top eater in Louisiana is like being named the best surfer in Hawaii or being named the most emotionally distant man in North Dakota or being named the most boring person in Connecticut. It takes some doing. Ranked number 14 in the world from Baton Rouge, now chilling in Houston, the rabbit, Adrian Morgan. In 10 minutes, nine and a half pounds of pumpkin pie in eight minutes, ladies and gentlemen. 32 hot dogs and buns in 10. 15 pounds of red beans and rice in eight. Eating out of Kirkland, Washington, ranked number 13 in the world, Steve Hammond. the number one ranked eater from Africa and he like me and many of you and your ancestors crossed the great sea to find peace and prosperity in this land 
we call America. He brought with him simple possessions, a pair of shoes, a ball of twine, a Samsung Galaxy 4, and deep within his heart, the power and pride upon which he has built a competitive eating career. I give you the bologna and baked bean and kale eating champion of the world. We're going to take it down a bit. Since ancient times, the pistachio has been known as the nut of love, a natural aphrodisiac. And our next contestant is the most romantic eater on the major league eating circuit. You see, he once ate 50 hard boiled eggs in exactly three minutes and four seconds, immediately after which he dropped to one knee and proposed to his then girlfriend, now wife. That's right, ladies. She said yes. Please welcome from Port Ritchie, Florida, ranked number four in the world, I give you lover man, Nick Wary. You shall bow down before the one true queen, ladies and gentlemen. She is the number one ranked female eater on the planet, ranked number three overall. Eight time Nathan's famous women's hot dog eating champion of the world, 48 and one half hot dogs and buns, 16 and a half pints of ice cream in six minutes, eight and a half pounds of kimchi, fermented chili cabbage in six. From heaven itself, via Port Ritchie, Florida, Mickey Sudo. He is the greatest living American, and therefore by deduction, the greatest living human. He is the flesh and blood and tooth and stomach manifestation of liberty in its elemental form. And every time he opens his mouth at the major league eating table, the flames of freedom burst forth to illuminate the way forward in dark and nervous times. And he is here once again. He is here to set your spirit higher and higher and ever higher. Once again, we Americans can stand atop the mountain of our destiny and gaze to that point upon the horizon where fear, fear no longer has safe harbor. I'm talking about the number one ranked eater of the world. I'm talking about the greatest eater in the history of our species. From Westfield, Indiana, Joey George Chestnut. This is an eight minute contest. Our eaters must shell the wonderful pistachios, consuming only the kernel. Shell consumption is not to be tolerated on this stage. We have made that clear. Whew. Santa Monica, California, are you ready? If you are ready, you will help me in the time on a tradition. Five, four, three, two, one, get cracking! DJ Yuri. They are often racing, ladies and gentlemen. Stephen Hammond. Dare I say, wonderful technique already in the early stages of the contest. Joey Chestnut is locking himself into a rhythm. 
court. Ladies and gentlemen. Thirty seconds down, ladies and gentlemen. Looking here now on Bartley Weaver, a study in form and concentration. One minute down, ladies and gentlemen. The wonderful pistachio, ladies and gentlemen. The number one snack nut in America, needless to say, Major League Eating. Proud and happy to be partnering on this majestic event. $10,000 on the line. $5,000 to first place, ladies and gentlemen. Our judges are working overtime to make sure any debris ends up where it needs to be. We have the amazing Doug X and Corey Hayashi on the stage with me here today to ensure that the sanctity of this competition will not be called into question, and it will not. A reminder that the world record is on the line. The winner here today will leave the arena. The world record holder in the wonderful pistachio discipline. It remains to be seen what that number will be. Two minutes down. Shout out to our friends watching on Wonderful Pistachios Facebook and Instagram live streams. If you're on the Insta, make sure you comment with your guest or guesstimate as to what the winning total will be here today. Closest to the pin wins stuff. Two and a half minutes down. This is a contest about manual dexterity, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the eaters working over time, getting cracking with these delicious, wonderful pistachios. The greatest pistachio in the history of mankind. That is going back to ancient times of Abyssinia. King Nebuchadnezzar could only have dreamed of enjoying the wonderful pistachio with his pomegranate juice. Three minutes down. Our eaters are locked in. Joey Chestnut getting low to the bowl. He's getting low to the bowl to minimize the time required to pan to mouth portion of the consumption. We rapidly approach the halfway mark. <laughs> Stephen Hammond is impressing in the first half of the contest with a rhythmic display of controlled pistachio consumption. He is, it is one beautiful motion. It's like a perfect golf swing. Halfway, four minutes down, four minutes to go. It is hard to tell who is leading at this stage of the contest. It appears to be neck and neck. We will be weighing the balls at the conclusion to determine the results. It will be a close run thing. Mark my words. Little known fact, Mickey Sudo got her nails done yesterday to make sure that her paws were in tip top. Wonderful pistachio opening form, totally within the rules. She fears for the cuticles of her male counterparts. Oh, Mickey's picking up the speed. Three minutes to go. Three minutes to go. Joey 
chat has gone up. The chat hears you. Two and a half to go. It is recommended that the wonderful pistachio is enjoyed at a more recreational or leisurely pace for full culinary and nutritional enjoyment. But this is a whole different ball of wax. Joey Chestnut looks on anxiously as he sees Mickey Sudo forging ahead. Two minutes to go, that's six down! here on this table today, ladies and gentlemen. Extremely impressive. A study in rhythm and concentration. Very much a new challenge for our competitive eaters at Major League Eating on this stage today, ladies and gentlemen. Very much a technique food. Very much one born of manual dexterity. Gideon Oji searching for the perfect nut. They're all perfect, Gideon. They're all wonderful pistachios. lessons ladies and gentlemen 20 seconds 20 seconds to the end oh no that's a homie 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 put down your nuts put down your nuts my stars how about a round of applause for all of our contestants our judges are going down the table to make sure all debris is accounted for thank you very much Doug X thank you very much Corey Hayashi DJ Yuri let's just play let's play some chill out music just as we do a little bit of housekeeping and before the judging starts i'm going to speak to some of the eaters we're going to get to the bottom of the wonderful pistachios get back and caper i just want to do a quick little bit of quick little look make sure that's the one i'm looking for let's make sure that all nuts are accounted for judges let's not have the sanctity of this contest called into question good work eaters DJ Yuri, let's keep that playing because we've got to go to the chill out room now because we've been raving too hard. This is from the world, the man who holds fifth. Yes, I know his name. I, I know I know who he is. We're friends. We've known each other for a long time. The man who holds 55 world records, including not lots of records. But today, Joey, you're a rhythm eater. You're a power eater. You're a capacity eater. Today, a completely different challenge. What was it like to take your extremely competent skill set and try to apply it to today's contest? It was, it was hard. It was exciting. Uh, man, it, 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 I, I was cracking some nuts. And uh, every, every, way, every way is pushing. And so we're, we're going to see. Uh, uh, there were some good techniques. And I'm hoping, uh, hoping that I'm, I'm amongst the best. And there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Joey Chestnut. I would like to speak to the great Mickey Sudo. Now, Mickey Sudo, upon arrival today, looked at my nails, which I trimmed yesterday and filed down a little because I believe in manual hygiene. 
Mickey looked at my nails and said, huh, I pity for my male counterparts at the table today. She got these beautiful tips done yesterday, not only with fashion and glamour on her mind, but with pistachio cracking using the claw, the patented Mickey pseudo pistachio eating claw to her benefit here today. Mickey, you went all in on the nails. I'm not sure if it's a French finish or a shellac on top. How do you think the nails and the overall technique work with you today? I think I could have only improved upon this if I had done the pistachio green. Um, you know, but I, I, I think it's the only advantage that I had going into this. Typically our capacities and our ability to swallow food, you know, gets the win, but this is what I had and uh, I did my best. Ladies and gentlemen, Mickey Sudo. I want to check in now with a man who did not dial down his mohawk color today. He is all in on wonderful pistachio green. Nick, more than hair, more than technique, what was it like to be back at Pacific Park eating the wonderful pistachio for the first time in sanctioned competition? Oh, Sam, it was excellent. Uh, I want to thank everyone from Wonderful, thank Major League Eating, of course, and uh, thank Pacific Park and Santa Monica Pier because it was excellent being out here. Delicious contest, different format, so I think all of us are a little nervous where the weights are going to be, but uh, I'm hoping this hair gave me a little bit of extra edge today to uh, pull up the W and take that title from some of these awesome haters up here. On brand and on point, Nick Murray. Now, Gideon, I'm going to ask you, we were talking about Mickey Sudo's hands. You have extremely large hands, very powerful hands that in a lot of contests you're able to utilize to destroy the food before the mastication situation. Now, did your hands today give you some sort of um, uh, advantage or disadvantage, you think, when it came to like the very detailed task? I think uh, more, more of a disadvantage, um, but hey, I'm out here to compete, so I give it my best. So I'm hoping for uh, a good result. Out here to compete, gave it his best. Stephen Hammond, I saw you absolutely ripping it up about halfway through the contest. Ranked number 13 in the world, and a runner, I believe, aside from the Major League Eating table. Your technique today was absolutely peerless. It, it looked as though, at least from my standpoint, and obviously we'll get to the results, it appears you hit a rhythm early and stuck with it. Would that be a fair reading of the situation? You know, that absolutely would. I uh, trained for this, I practiced for this, and uh, I would just like to say that uh, I'd like to thank Wonderful for a nice light snack. A nice light snack. Six grams of protein per serving. I don't know what the results are. Spoiler alert, a lot of servings. As a quick piece of housekeeping, Weaver. Now, you are a professional bodybuilder. Let's hit that track again, DJ Yuri, from the top. You're a professional bodybuilder. salsa once more for our presentation ceremony.
which will get started in moments. And let's make sure we have the championship belt and the oversized check. The judging is coming along. Whew. You could cut the tension with a knife, couldn't you? All with your very sharp fingernails, Mickey Sudo. If there are any nail salons present here today who is looking for a sponsorship opportunity for future wonderful pistachio, I frankly would love to see Joey Chestnut in belt Sarah I want the belt and I want to give it to someone DJ next track in third place $1,250 richer ladies and gentlemen with 100 wonderful pistachios in just eight minutes the great Mickey the music right there we have our first and our second place finishes ladies and gentlemen don't call it a comeback he's been here for years I want the following two eaters to join me and Diana Salsa at the front of the stage I want Adrian Morgan and I want Nick Weary One of these men ate 102 wonderful pistachios in just eight minutes. The other gentleman, however, ate 109. The winner leaves seven more wonderful pistachios in his belly with $5,000 of wonderful pistachios money. And with the right to walk the streets of Santa Monica in the world, at least for the next 12 months, as the wonderful pistachios, pistachio eating champion of the world. Also setting a new world record in the process at, of course, 109 pistachios. Exactly, brother. Your winner, with 109 wonderful pistachios in eight minutes, his first major league eating championship victory, Nick Wary! check five thousand dollars you can't deposit it it's more a symbolic gesture of future payment
bill will be issued by an auto pay system through Citibank. We're headquartered in Delaware. Nick Wary, ladies and gentlemen, first championship victory. A round of applause for Adrian Morgan, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Hammond, Barley Weaver. Joey, say hello to the people. Joey Chestnut. sport that binds people together through sportsmanship. Go forth, tell people what you've seen today, and eat wonderful pistachios. Enjoy the rest of your wonderful pistachio, National Pistachio Day. It pairs well with a song, Sarah, or a light domestic beer, in my experience. DJ Yuri, see us out. <laughs>